shaking this is andy coming to you again and i'm back here with my gr1800 bass rig and uh, i just wanted to show you a couple other instruments that sound fantastic to it i've been experimenting with it all day and i pulled out this is my uh, my beetle bass copy um, just a kit bass it's just a very inexpensive instrument however uh, i record with this bass more than any other bass in the studio you know it um it's got flat wound strings on it, and typically I use this Pick Boy felt pick that I'm holding here right now and playing with. And it gets a fantastic bass guitar sound in the studio. It's just absolutely perfect. Goes to tape wonderfully. And through the GR bass rig, it sounds wonderful. I just absolutely love it. I have it on EQ bypass, and um, so what you're hearing is the bass and the amp. In my hands, of course. fantastic i love the way that that sounds now next i want to play you my other um instrument that gets a ton of uh call to duty in the recording environment which is a um a uh p bass copy it's an old one it's from the 70s made by aria pro and it's uh one of the best bait uh, P bass copies I've ever I've ever uh, played literally I played a lot of them in a lot of cases I play this one with the felt pick as well uh, this one has the Nordstrand audio power blade pickups in it and it has an old um, Ken Smith um, kind of a Sort of a badass type bridge, but it's made by Ken Smith in, in back in the 80s. Flat wound, black one, black diamond strings, just like the other one. Got the tone about that was about halfway here. That's all the way down. Here's the tone all the way up. Thank you. 
rockabilly with the flat longs. That's a secret. If you play it with one of these felt picks, it kind of sounds like the um, kind of like the way that they make the guitar sound with the slapback uh, echoplex. <laughs> That goes to tape, fantastic. Um, let's hear it with the fingers. short video with my new GR bass rig which I'm really loving a, loving a whole lot I like the transparency of it and um, the headroom I like the build quality and I just love the tone I just love the way that it sounds I've been trying you know I have a lot of different bases here that have a lot of different tonal characteristics tonal personalities and um, the same set of hands so um, when I go for different tones I typically go for a different bass so um, you know, the Beatle bass has its own thing going on because it's semi-hollow. And then the P basses always just sound good. You know, and a lot of these basses, um, when you hear them by themselves, they have, a, they have a certain kind of a sound. But when you hear them in the mix, they, they do something completely different. And this particular one, it won't blow your mind when, when I'm just sitting here playing it. But God, when it's in the mix, it's a, it's a badass. Uh, it's a badass instrument. I attribute it to the, to the construction of it, the old... The old um, uh, the years that it that it's had to dry and mellow, and then of course these uh, Nordstrand Power Blade pickups are contributing to, um, to its sound. But God, this amplifier complements it wonderfully. So vintage bass, flat wound strings, super modern amp, but it really really sounds great, and that makes me super happy. All right, friends, we'll see you next time. More to come. Peace.